Welcome to the party, Commander. Not much of one today, since everyone is busy rushing around. We're receiving countless requests from across the galaxy. Most are handled simply enough. Yeah, but some of those asks are draining our supplies as fast as we get them. Hypermatter, people, ammo, even food. It's getting hard to keep up. Is there anything we can do about it? Get more of, well, everything. People, ships, fuel, time. You know, the easy stuff. We simply have to do more with less. We have some proposed solutions, but there are recent developments that we should discuss first. Sana Ray and I, along with the members of our force enclave here on Odessan, have kept a watchful eye for any further signs of Valkorion's influence. I really miss the days when dead people stayed dead. We are hopeful. The force feels different, lighter somehow, as if Valkorion's very existence was a weight that none of us recognized. Our enclave, the Voss, I'm told that even Satil students have felt the change. It seems our ancient enemy is well and truly gone. I'm sure you felt it too, knowing your own strength in the Force. The question now is how do we proceed? As you suggest. Do you have a recommendation? I suggest keeping the members of our enclave vigilant for any sign of him. Best not to take any chances. So, on to the Mandalorians. It's a pretty crazy time for them. Shea Vizsla's taken down half the Darmanda on Meksha, but hasn't gotten any closer to this Field Marshal Cole. Indigo never was a hands-on manager. Probably didn't even know his people were involved. As promised, Jakaya Ordo has been aiding our operations in Shea's place. Despite the turmoil in the clans, he's helped to secure escorts for our cargo shipments. Excellent. That's good to hear. Going back to the numerous requests we've received for assistance from our allies across the galaxy, we have a potential solution. We already employ a number of incredibly skilled and resourceful individuals who could likely handle these requests, alone or in small teams. Additionally, between my contacts and Theron's, there are a number of outside assets we could recruit to fulfill our allies' needs. As we've done before, if those assets prove useful, we can bring them into the fold officially. A sort of field test, if you will. I get the feeling you already have one of these tests in mind. Naturally. Our first situation is on Balmora. They're prepping a big shipment of turbo lasers for a Republic base on Corellia. Problem is, the imps know about it. They're gonna ambush the shipment. Admiral Ago has someone in mind for the job. Resistance fighter from Balmora. He's a Twi'lek, goes by the name Zenith, really hates Imperials. Figured he'd love to ambush the ambushers. So, we give Zenith the info about the shipment, he does his thing, everyone walks away happy. <laughs> Except the imps, I guess. What do you think? Sure. Let's do it. Have Baywan reach out to Zenith, and we'll go from there. Great. I'll let the Admiral know he can get started. I believe that's it for today, Commander. I'll let everyone else know what was discussed. Thank you for your time. No problem. Secrets of the Enclave. Another flashpoint. Pretty sure that's what it was. Yeah, Secrets of the Enclave. Commander, just got an interesting message from Master Nos Dural. What did he say? Just that he wants a meeting, right away, with you, and only you. Preferably in the most secure space we've got. That's not like him. I wonder what happened. Nos Dural isn't usually so secretive. Yeah, surprised me too. All right, get the operations room prepared. I'll wait for Nos Dural there. Will do, Commander. Okay, on back to the operations room. But this isn't going to be another back and forth before we actually get to the flashpoint. Hello again, my friend. 
Please forgive me for putting this all together on such short notice, but it was too important to wait. Glad to see things are going so well around here. Where's Tao? Arn. I'm surprised you're here without Tao. She wanted to be here, but she was called away at the last second to assist some civilians on Balmora. She said to keep an eye on me. Is your training going well? It's fantastic. I'm learning so much. I think I finally hit my stride. We really should get on with the meeting. We don't have a second to waste. You seem shaken. Is everything all right? It's like you've seen a ghost. An apt observation, but it wasn't me who saw the ghost. This is Erin Lanier. Master Satil connected us. She had interesting news to share. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Odessen. Thank you. I wish I were visiting under better circumstances. Aaron lives on Dantooine. There's an abandoned Jedi enclave there with an untold number of ancient relics and artifacts. It would spell disaster if they fell into the wrong hands. Unfortunately for us, Darth Malgus just walked right into those ruins. Malgus? Are you sure? Nobody's seen him since the Meridian Complex. I'm sure. I sensed Malgus before he even set foot on our soil, and I saw him. I followed him right into the Enclave. Is Malgus still on Dantooine? I couldn't tell you. I didn't hang around there for long. Something felt very... different about him. <laughs> there was no way I could face him on my own. I'm not ashamed to admit I'm not the fighter I once was, but Malgus, it's like he's just as powerful as the last time I saw him. More powerful, even. Someone more capable needed to know what was happening, so I ran before he could figure out I was following him. Packed up my family and went straight to Master Satil. Let's spread the story. Dantooine is the last place I expected Malgus to show his face. We need to figure out why Malgus chose Dantooine, and for what? Master Nostaral, how do we handle this? General Derun is on standby. He's ready to deploy military reinforcements, if necessary. But he and I agree that we should keep this quiet. We don't want to cause a panic on Dantooine, or let the Empire get wind of what's happened. What are you suggesting? Search the Enclave and find out what Malgus was doing there. Arn has studied those ruins before. He can back you up. Were you listening to anything I just said? It'll take more than two Jedi to bring Malgus down. When these two faced Malgus on Corellia, they nearly defeated him for good. If Malgus is still in those ruins, they'll be ready for him. Got this? Arn and I can handle this. Absolutely. If you're determined to do this by yourself, at least let me get you to Dantooine and point you in the right direction once we've landed. I'll be waiting by the shuttle. I'm glad she's offered to help. She knows Dantooine, and Malgus, and she'll do whatever it takes to ensure her family's safety. But remember, Aaron Lanier was once a Jedi, but she is no longer part of the Order. Her only responsibility should be getting you there and back safely. I'll keep that in mind. We should get going. We wait too long, and I doubt there will be anything to find in the Enclave. Sounds good. To Dantooine, then. We're almost to Dantooine. Shouldn't be much longer. You said that you could sense Malgus, even before he landed. How is that possible? The day he and I fought on Coruscant, I could feel his rage and disgust with every attack. It was like nothing I'd ever felt before. It was suffocating. You fought Darth Malgus? A long time ago. It's not something you forget. I'd know his presence anywhere. I know what you mean. And it's not something I ever wanted to feel again, but here we are. I'm sure Master Nostaral told you about my past. I can't say I'm happy to be involved in Jedi business again, but if that's what it takes to keep my family safe... I understand. Setting us down away from the ruins. Don't want to draw any unwanted attention.
What were you saying about unwanted attention? Unbelievable! How in blazes did the Empire find out about this? By doing something shameless, I'm sure. Doesn't change anything. Stick to the plan. Empire or no, we need to get in there and look for Malgus's trail. I don't think walking through the front door is gonna work. I can show you a way in. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. You still want to do this quietly. A lot of people salvage things from the Enclave ruins to get by. It's not a very well-kept secret, and the government frowns on it. The scavengers built hidden access tunnels. We find one, we get in. Hopefully without too much resistance. Let's do it. Then that's what we'll do. Let's move. We're right behind you. Okay. Long walk there. We're not even not crossing that field. Though technically we could. I'm guessing we're going that way and then back around that way. Probably no way to actually What's get What's waiting up there. for us in those ruins other than the Imperials? Debris, collapsed tunnels. After the Enclave was destroyed, no one was able to fully rebuild it. It's been ages since anyone tried. After so long, I can't imagine there's much left in there. A lot of local wildlife use the ruins as nesting grounds. Does that count? Actually have to do that. It's part of the main mission. Okay. Medics. around here. these people behind. Hopefully they follow. Or she. Okay.
defeat enemy patrols. I have to defeat three patrols anyways. I'm guessing that's a patrol. Yeah, that's a patrol. Hopefully that's one as well. I don't feel like going out of my way for it. The 50 Imperial troops. Here it is. This should get us inside. Well done. Get ready. We need to be prepared for whatever might be waiting. Agreed. Ever crystal cave. Yellow and blue. like right there. cinematic or something. I don't remember the whole story or anything. Creature. Very rancor like. So I'm guessing it's gonna have the same moves.
nice mechanics. Probably harder in hard difficulties. Was that thing? A crawl. Biggest one I've ever seen. What's wrong? When I followed Malgus down here, I walked right through these tunnels without any problems. Sure, I saw a few creatures here and there, but they left me alone. They didn't attack like this. Whatever Malgus has done in here, it sure seems like he's gotten everything riled up. Well, that's not good. I don't like the sound of that. Me neither. The Force feels so unnatural here. These halls have seen so much pain and suffering, it echoes through the Force. It wouldn't surprise me if Malgus did something to tip the balance. What do you mean? What happened here? Betrayal. Murder. The Sith were ruthless when they destroyed the Enclave. So many senseless deaths. She's right. <laughs> and things weren't exactly ideal before the Sith came. The Jedi here could alter a person's memories if they thought someone was susceptible to dark side corruption. They could wipe minds altogether. Maybe worse. No one knows what these Jedi were fully capable of. Not even Master Nostaral. That's horrible. I can't believe they would do that. I don't think anyone's proud of it. All right, enough. We're wasting time. We're on the right track. Let's keep moving. It's me in the wrong direction. Enter the Enclave Ruins. Between Enclave Restoration. What are we doing? Oh, droids. Seems that wildlife aren't the only ones Malgus disturbed. Disable high security terminal Alruk. Or Alruk. Alruk? Alruk. Let's go with that one. Sounds better. Oh, that was a bonus. We'll do it anyways. Oh, I have to destroy the 
robots close to it. Maybe. Maybe. Go all the way around. Plus, I'm missing something. This isn't the correct way. I'm missing something? Oh. Missed that hole. Let's see. That door has to be open right there. There's got to be a button to open it. Ah. Down here. Well, there we go.
Lanier, how do you know so much about the Enclave's history? Didn't you say you weren't involved in Jedi business anymore? The Jedi don't wipe your mind and make you forget everything you learned if you leave the Order here. Well, not anymore. This is the last one. I will. Be well. Thank you. Mandalorian arms display. That's nice. Uh, excuse me for a moment. There are insects I need to crush. If only you understood the error you've just made. I almost feel sorry for you. Stand aside. Let us through. And you can walk out of here alive. Ha! <laughs> oh, thank you for that. This will be so much fun. Your meddling stops here, worm. I need to be so rude about it. We got ordinance specialist, a grappler, probably gonna grab grab me a lot, and a service enforcer, reclamation service enforcer. So bomb guy, Kodo, most likely gonna be pulling me a lot is Dogo, and then Zealous, main guy. Six hundred thousand, three hundred thousand. Focus on. Bomb guy first. Okay, let's go. Feel my wrath, one. Deploying grenades. I'll crush you all. I'm just getting started. Do stop struggling. You're already dead. Shush you. Do stop struggling. You're already dead. Are you next? And finally, Silas. Or Silas. I'll crush you all! Disgusting insect! I will end you! No point in running away since I can't. You forgetting that? Just getting started. Uh, Xylus? If you know where these tunnels lead, tell us. <laughs> the 
Zillis? Oh, it's you. When Zillis said there were insects, this is not what I expected. Colonel Gola, Imperial Reclamation Service. As you're answering a hollow frequency that belongs to my team, I can only assume they're all dead. Regrettably, yes. I'm sorry, but we've captured your Sith friend. So I see. What will it take for you to return her to me, alive? Answers. If you tell me what you're doing here and everything you've learned since you arrived, she's free to go. I'm not entertaining this foolishness. You've wasted enough of my time. Oh, and I advise turning back. You won't find what you're looking for. It's too late. Her wounds are bad. She won't make it. Not like she'd help us anyway. I'll just help you. You don't have to die down here. Help us find Malgus. <laughs> Death is far more desirable, worm. What a waste. Keep moving. We need to figure out which way to go. I don't think I made it this far when I was following Malgus. Then which way do we go? Should we split up? No. Just... just give me a minute. Here. Malgus went this way. How do you know? Because I feel his presence most strongly here. Does that mean he's nearby? Not necessarily. Remember what I said about how the terrible things that happened here left echoes in the Force? Those feelings of pain and trauma are... almost like imprints. Anyone who comes through here now, even Malgus, continues to leave those imprints. And I can feel them. Why don't I sense them? Force empathy. I've experienced it for as long as I can remember. I've always been... almost overwhelmed by other people's feelings and emotions. Little things like time and distance don't do much to stop it either. Does Malgus know this? Could he be manipulating these imprints, knowing that you were our only lead? I don't know. I hadn't thought about it. Well... Uh... All we can do now is follow this tunnel, or turn back. We go forward. But, let's be careful. Oh, oh. Still going this way. Still gotta do the containment cell. Monstrous Tarant attack. Tarant attack. That one. That's a bonus boss. Not a main one.
one last throw for good measure. Just because. Be a good fight. I like the animal fights a bit, a bit better than the normal ones, as well as the large machine fights, such as the tanks and the walkers. Those are usually funnest. You obviously don't have a problem killing Sith. Was that in doubt? I'm just curious. If we find Malgus down here, or wherever he's run off to, what will you do? I don't know. We need to find Malgus first. Right. Apologies for that. Mal seems to have decided to act up. Salvage explosive materials. I figured I would need that. I was still writing saw a name and wasn't gone blue. Clear the collapse. Last bus can be there. Maybe. Seems to be the point that we're going to. Yeah, there it is. You should know. The last time I faced Malgus, we swore to kill each other if we ever met again. I plan to follow through on that promise. I'm sorry. I should have said something earlier. That would have been appreciated. I gotta find out who she is. There's like a cinematic or something. Doesn't look like there's any other way forward. Look at this door. Whatever the Jedi kept in here, they didn't want anyone seeing it. Too bad for them, because judging from these lightsaber burns, someone got inside. Recently. Then let's see what's in here.
I won't stop right there. Did... Did you do this? Weren't these people on your side? That would be stupid. They were dead when I found this room. Such a shame. If only Lord Malgus could have found any semblance of concern for the Empire, he might have spared my people. You think Malgus did this? Don't tell me you're surprised. I knew Malgus was looking for something to break the ties that bound him to Emperor Valron, but I never dreamed he would go this far. What ties? What do you mean? He was controlled by our Emperor, compelled to carry out his orders. Malgus wanted to destroy those chains, at any cost, even if it meant killing loyal servants of the Empire. Malgus is nothing like the mighty Sith I have served and admired. Noble heroes like those I've known seem to be a dying breed. I've seen many strange and terrible things in the Reclamation Service, but one thing is always consistent. Those who wield the Force will go to any lengths for power. The atrocities that happened centuries ago in these very halls are proof of that. Your kind will never be satisfied. And the rest of us will pay the price. That's not true! Hold on. Something's not right. Let's go. Before we find out what it is, forget about him. He's not who we came for. <laughs> I have faced things you couldn't fathom in your wildest nightmares. Nothing you threaten me with can scare me away from my duty. But if you wish to abandon your foolish efforts, I could be persuaded to give you a head start. Not a chance. I have a job to do. And I'm not leaving until it's finished. Terribly sorry to disappoint. For the Empire! Okay. Colonel Arden Gola. This place will be your tomb. A lot of pistol. Now you know the power of the Empire. You're in my way. Coming here was your last mistake. No more. I will end you. I like this fight. Coming here was your last mistake. These abilities just don't feel right. Like they were just trying to copy what the fighting with Jedi was like. Instead of making a new person. This is nothing. You are nothing. Loop. Okay then. This this can't be the end. It didn't have to be. I told you to go, but you wouldn't listen. True enough. No. What's wrong? Whatever it was I felt earlier, it's happening again if we don't. Master 
Jedi! Your friends can't hear you. If you were truly in the presence of Darth Malgus, you would have been dead before you drew your shameful excuse for a lightsaber. Why are you doing this? Where is everyone? I am not doing anything. Everything you see is because of you, Aaron Lanier. I remember how the Jedi were awed by your ability to feel emotion through the Force. I never imagined you were powerful enough to glimpse an imprint left behind by someone's presence. Left behind? Why would you leave something we could use to track you down? Getting sloppy in your old age? Use whatever you like. I hope you succeed in finding me. It will be the last thing you ever accomplish. I have done something no other Sith could achieve. I've broken my chains. No one can stop me. Not the Republic. Not the Empire. Not you. Maybe I can't stop you, but you are not invincible. Perhaps not. But you won't be able to put your theory to the test. Do you really think you're the only one who saw me come here? There were many who did. I made sure of that. But you were the only one who did what I wanted. You brought the Alliance Commander to these ruins. A shame that your reward is to die with him. I would have much preferred to kill you in person. I did give my word. Lanier, what are you- Go! Now! Or we all die! What are you- That way. Hurry. There's the loot box. If everyone's ready, let's begin. I wasn't aware that others would be joining us. Since we're discussing business that could affect our ability to rebuild the Jedi, I thought it best to invite some of the Order's most important representatives. Tao is eager to hear about what happened on Dantooine. That I am. I'm sure it's quite a story. Great to see you. Nice to see you, Tal. I'm glad you could join us. I'm happy to be included. This is Master Sal Darren. She's been instrumental in tracking down former Jedi and identifying potential additions to the Order. I look forward to working with you. Someone with your particular skills and assets could play a crucial role in many of my plans. Nice to meet you. I look forward to doing great things with you as well, Master Sal Darren. And this is Master Vinyor Tesh. One of our most diligent stewards of Jedi libraries and archives. Before we begin, I must speak plainly. I don't believe we should include anyone in this meeting who is no longer a part of the Jedi Order. You're kidding, right? Absolutely not. 
We're here to discuss matters that could change the fate of the Jedi forever. But you wouldn't even be having this meeting if Lanier hadn't helped us. We need allies, so with all due respect, Master Vinyar, turning away anyone who's willing to help us right now would be a big mistake. Fine. She can stay. Well done. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you, Arn. I completely agree. Remember, you are all here because of the part you play in restoring the Jedi, regardless of your rank or title. Now then, please tell us what happened in the Enclave on Dantooine. That soldier from the Reclamation Service, Colonel Gola, the one who tried to kill us, he said something about Malgus looking for a way to break his ties to Emperor Vauron. Whatever Malgus did down there, it worked. He's not bound to the Empire anymore. Don't forget the display case we found smashed to bits. I think Malgus might have taken something from the Enclave. And Gola escaped. So everything we know, I'm sure the Empire knows too. That is troubling. Any one of the relics that were hidden in that Enclave would be deadly enough in Darth Malgus's hands. And now you say he's untethered. Arn, you and I will comb any records the Jedi still possess about the Dantooine Enclave. We must do everything we can to identify what Malgus took. Master Vinyor, we will need your assistance. Consider it done. I can start searching files immediately. I'll also need everything we have about the Osis Library. Why Osis? This isn't the first time Malgus has stolen a relic. On Osis, after Malgus left me for dead in the library, I saw him flee with something. A tome? I couldn't be sure. Everything was in such chaos, and we hadn't finished cataloging the library even before the Empire attacked. Appreciate you telling me. I'm glad you mentioned this. Malgus is starting to follow a pattern. My thoughts exactly. At first I didn't see the relevance of what happened on Osis. Sith steal artifacts all the time. But now... If Malgus is ransacking Jedi ruins, we should deploy forces to any place we suspect he might go. I'll speak with General Dayrun immediately. Thank you, Master Saldarn. I'll begin compiling our records in the Dantooine Enclave. I should have something ready as soon as possible, Master Nostarar. After all that, we're no closer to knowing where Malgus has gone. Don't worry. That will change soon. In the meantime... We get ready. And when Malgus decides to show himself again, we'll be waiting for him. <laughs>